The definition of the word siloed is of a process, department, or system isolated from others. And the key words there are isolated from others. I have in front of me this book, The Silo Effect. And in The Silo Effect, it discusses the dangers of operating in a silo. And I'll go straight to the back and read for you a couple lines from the book. Living in specialized silos might make life seem more efficient in the short term, but a world that is always divided into a fragmented and specialist pattern is a place of missed risk and opportunities. And throughout the book and the chapters, I'll just go over a couple of chapters, they share how silos can crush innovation, how silos conceal risks, how silos create tunnel vision, how individual silos bust their lives, how to keep silos fluid, how breaking down silos can produce profits and connecting the dots. And ultimately, the reason why I come on today to talk about silos is because so many of us are operating in a silo. We believe that our thoughts, our ideas, our, the vision that we have for our business, uh, for where we plan on going, we believe that that is the best route to take. And so what we fail to do is seek out guidance. We fail to seek out connectivity and connections with others who are in a position to be able to share in on some of their ideas, some of their thoughts, some of their experiences of where they've been and things that they've done. And what I want to encourage folks out there to do is get out from behind the computer, uh, get out from operating in a silo, and be part of a community. And it doesn't matter what that community is. It just matters that the community is aligned with the goals that you have for yourself, the goals that you have for your business, uh, the things that you're wanting to do. Uh, make sure that there are people in that community that are already there at that level that you like to attain. Uh, also make sure that the people within the community uh, are like-minded as yourself and the way that you plan to operate in the future. Because we're not looking at where you're at in the present time. We're looking at where is it that you're headed and what you want to do. If we go back to the story of Elon Musk when he was first starting SpaceX, which is widely known today, he went to places where there were rocket scientists. And so again, I have his book and I remember reading the book and when he first said he wanted to build a rocket ship, right? He decided to go where there were rocket engineers. And so it's funny because we always talk about, uh, we're not as, we, this isn't as complicated as a rocket scientist, but he actually sought out those people. And he went to the, all of the, the places where they hung out and the places where they had their events and spent time with those folks. And the, what I'm telling folks out here, because the majority of the people watching this, uh, they have expressed an interest in government contracting. Where do you think that the people that are doing government contracting are hanging out? They're hanging out in conferences like the National 8A Conference coming up this month. They're hanging out with the Hub Zone Council. They're hanging out with the U.S. Women's Chamber of Commerce. Uh, they're hanging out with Veterans uh, Business Association. They're hanging out with uh, these types of organizations that are supporting what their mission is and what they're trying to do and where they want to go at. We last night just shared a story of two of our students at the GovCon EDU Academy how they got together and working on transportation projects. We actually had a couple other students that were able to help facilitate transportation and, and logistics contracts and orders by being part of our community. Uh, I would encourage everyone out there strongly, if you intend on having any type of success in your business, any type of growth that's sustainable, that's long-term, that's lasting, you're going to get have to get out of your silo and work with others. This is the last month where we're offering the 2.0 program for $9.97 price. And I'd like to encourage everyone to join as many people as possible because we want to help build up small businesses. Uh, if you watch the clip that I have featured discussing 10 people that I'd rather have seen on the SBA Small Business Summit, we talk about opportunities for growth, uh, capital investment. We look at the areas where they invest in real estate development, um, and not only that, uh, new technology, uh, and inventions, creativity, entrepreneur. I mean, these things exist out here, but unless you're part of a community where people are sharing this information freely, openly, um, without regard for the fact that you may take and build something gigantic, uh, we want you to be successful. We actually, after our call last night, our YouTube Live, uh, Demetrius and Chris and myself, we actually talked about uh, 
how Sharon from One Girl, One Trucks, her success took off and how when she first started off with us inside our GovCon Giants Academy, when she first started, she was actually driving her truck uh, in the camper. And sometimes she'd be on the Tuesday calls because we have Tuesday calls every Tuesday with our community. She'd be on those Tuesday calls operating out of her truck. That's right. She was actually in the truck driving, and sometimes we couldn't see her, so she had to pull over to like a rest area where and drive under the light so we can see her. She was actually in the sleeper camper of her truck driving. Today, she's a successful uh, FEMA contractor. She's got more work than she can handle. She's hiring people. She's bringing on other small business truckers into her space, and she started that because what did we do? Uh, and what I don't want to take all the credit for it, but what we did was, as a community, we encouraged her, we supported her, we uh, we told her that she, again, look at where you're headed, not where you're at. A lot of us are judging our situation and we're blaming ourselves for where we're at today, and that's fine. And you got to take responsibility for your actions, but also think about the fact that of where you're going and where you're headed, because we have seen people transition from having zero contracts to having two contracts to having million-dollar contracts and to working with our podcast guests like Stephanie did uh, and Lissette is also doing. So I just want to encourage folks that I think that this silo effect is a real thing and it's a real tragedy and it is at the detriment of small business success. So again, if you want to continue um, putt-putting along, slow dripping, you know, drip, 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 and you don't and you don't want to get on the fast track, then continue operating your silo. But if you're ready to get on the fast track, to grow your business extensively, to be in a community where people support you, encourage you, uplift you, because this is just as much mental and emotional as it is actual uh, concentration of effort and actually doing tasks, because the mental will get you before anything else. Uh, I shared a story where we actually, on one of my IDIQs, the person who was in charge of submitting it failed to submit it. And this was a package that we literally spent probably three to four weeks putting together uh, five to seven persons efforts in this, hundreds of man hours, uh, hundreds of pages of documents, and the person who was responsible for submitting it did not, they failed to get submitted and or failed to get a confirmation number on the submission. Either way, uh, we... The government did not receive our su submission, and therefore they were not able to evaluate us. And so all of that work and effort was lost. And so part of the what I like to say for folks is this is a mental game. This is mental game. So you've got to have the mental fortitude, and it's really hard to, to have that when you're not around like-minded individuals or people that can comfort and support you in your times where things aren't going the way that you believe, Things aren't always, uh, you're not as uh, encouraged that day. You don't wake up uh, on, on the right side of the bed. You don't feel so so cheery and, and, and with glee. And those are the things that we want to be there to support you because the journey is a long one. This is not a sprint. It's a marathon. And if you plan on being in this for any sustained period of time, you're going to need to be with folks that support you, encourage you, that you can text, that you can be in a WhatsApp group with, that you could be in a Slack group with, and that will be there to be able to say, hey, don't worry, I was there once. Hey, let me pick you up. Hey, listen, that ha this happened to me, or that happened to me, and then it makes you not feel so bad. So again, I just want to say to folks out there, uh, this month is the last month. Go to govconeric.com slash join. To find out more information, reach out to Erica. Call her, 786-477-0477. We are putting everything on the line. We're bringing in 12 guest speakers at a minimum this year. Uh, you're going to have one-on-one -on -one sessions. Um, we're going to have breakout sessions based on your industries. So we're doing a lot of good stuff for small businesses to support them, to encourage them, to build them up, and to stand behind them. Uh, just look, go to our Instagram, go to our LinkedIn, and see how many people are tagging us in posts and pictures, how many people are, are thanking us for all of the support that we've given to them. And so I believe that we have the best program out there and that we give more support than anyone, more support than even, I would even go as far as to say we give more support than the SBA because truly the SBA are people that work for the government and they can only do so much because they don't want to have a conflict of interest of telling you 
what numbers to put on your proposal, right? How to fill it out, how to do a cost estimate. They can't do that because they work for the government and it would seem like they were colluding with you as a small business. So we, because we have no vested interest in that particular project, I can do that for you. I can actually help you look at your numbers. I can help you put together those proposals. I can help you respond to the government and say the right things. The government persons, even the PTAX or SBDCs, can't do that because there's a liability position that you're putting them in. So they can only go so far uh, with what you can and can't do. But because we are a private organization, we can go two, three, four, five steps further and say, hey, this is where I think your number should be at. Hey, this is what I think that you can write on there to, to show that you are much more favorable than the way that you appear. And that's what you need to actually be able to to give the impression that you are competent, that you're capable, that you're ready, that you're willing, that you're able. Those are the things that the government's looking for. And those are the kind of things that we give you in our community. Visit govconeric.com forward slash join for more information. Call us if you have any questions, 786-477-0477. Reach out to Erica. Send us an email, service at govcongiants.com. Or if anything else, talk to any one of our students, talk to our podcast guests, talk to the people that you see us with, that you see us in pictures. Make sure it's real. Make sure it's the right thing for you. But definitely don't wait because I don't want to hear come November the 2nd that you missed out, that you had the opportunity uh, that you were saving and you only got this much money and you just fell short because we really are moving on. We want to work with uh, people that are looking to scale their business, grow their businesses, build their businesses, uh, win two, three, four, five million dollar contracts. And so we want to help those people, support them, and be there with them. But we've got to get started with this next cohort. So if you want to be in this cohort uh, for the 2021 fiscal year, because it just started this month, uh, make sure to visit govconeric.com forward slash join. Thank you.